most of us are not used to winning in life on a consistent basis. So that's why in this video, I'm going to teach you about the serendipity principle. Today is 24th June 2022. I've officially made 1 lakh rupees. All right, Shrey, what's your question, my friend? So what's the problem and why do I think that winning is a bad thing for some people, especially for the people that are not used to it, which is almost 99% of the people. If you've never won in life, you're used to being a loser. And when you win, your system and body does not know what the hell to do. So in this video, properly you'll learn how to win, what to do when you win and how to ensure that you continue winning. So why is winning the problem in the first place? You can get really comfortable. Like, oh man, I'm one bro. Like, I'm, I've done it. I, I don't need to work anymore. So you get comfortable. And the very important thing, the next point is that you forgot what got you there in the first place. So you worked super hard to get that win, right? And you did certain things to ensure that you won. But after winning, we just forget what got us there. We forget the essential things that pretty much guaranteed our success. And we just forget them. And then we wonder why we're back to feeling like crap. And finally, you get satisfied. Once you get satisfied, there's no going back. It's over, it's game over for you. You may not win again in your life, ever. So there's a, there's a, there's a difference between comfort and satisfied. Comfort is like, okay, I uh, made enough money, I bought a new car. That's comfort, my, my comfort is there. And satisfaction means that I bought a new car and I'm satisfied. That was my life goal, to buy a car. And after that, I'm chill. That satisfaction, you don't want to be satisfied. So we need to be able to create a system in life where we continuously win, our winning is consistent and we never stop. And for those right now saying that you need breaks and all, click off the video, this video is not for you. And I'll give you some real examples of what happens when someone wins and get co gets comfortable, where someone does not handle winning properly. So we all know one guy in school that was super smart and we all expect that guy to crush it in their career. But it turns out that they didn't do that well in their career. And then at the same time, there was another kid who was pretty dumb, but crushed it in his career. Now I'm not saying this is every smart and dumb person in school, but I'm saying that we know of these examples. Another super common example, especially common amongst guys, once a guy gets a hot girlfriend, that guy changes. The guy changes. I'm like, bro, you want this guy before getting the girlfriend. What got you the girlfriend was being like this. Instead, after getting the girlfriend, you're like, why? You were ex and you got the girlfriend. Now you're Y. And when she leaves you, you're like, why did she leave me? Because you turned into a Y. You were supposed to be an ex even after winning, even after getting the girlfriend. <laughs> All right. And another example, one guy stops in his career at 1 lakh per month salary. Another guy stops at 1 crore per month salary. Both had a similar life. Both probably went to the same school. It's just something in us where you need to understand how to handle wins properly and to ensure that you win consistently. Remember I told you about the satisfaction thing, never get satisfied. The truth is 99% of us will get satisfied at some point. And it's not a bad thing if you define that point. I just want you to take a second, pause the video, do whatever. Just think about where you want to be in life and at what point will you be satisfied? Is it a certain income goal? Is it a certain family goal? Is it a certain fitness goal? And you can have multiple goals, right? So I want a body where I have six pack abs and after that I'll be satisfied. But beware, once you get the six pack abs and you're satisfied, you fall back to the body that you had before. The point is to get satisfied and maintain that position. So keep that clear before. All right, Shay, so the million dollar question, what do I do when I actually win? You never get satisfied. You never get satisfied. If you want to be the 1%, you never get satisfied. But there's three things within that actionable things that I'm going to tell you right now. The first is once you win, whatever it is, acknowledge it. Okay, I've won. Good job. And immediately get your train of thought into the mindset of, okay, I've won, but what could have I done better? Or how could have I won more? How could have I done this better? So that kind of takes you into another thought process where you can, you know, evaluate and 
properly understand your situation many fighters do this fighting professional fighters they'll get into a fight they'll get out of a fight in many cases like the player is super happy the fighter was super happy and his coach was like you did crap you did crap bro you, that kick you did that you shouldn't have done that that grapple you shouldn't have done that so that's the mindset you need within yourself without having a coach second there's another mindset trick that you can use so i want you to create an image in your head of yourself but the perfect version of yourself so that perfect version has a military like discipline a military like mindset alarm goes off like a robot he turns it off he goes into the shower he works out he pushes himself to the max eats properly sits properly works properly doesn't do any bad habits so i want you to create that perfect person in your image and that perfect per- person is you so all you have to do is copy that person and you know that this person is not stopping when they're winning he's not stopping when they're winning you both had the same win but he's not stopping he's not doing anything different and he'll continue doing things that he was doing before finally the most practical thing you can do is create a list of non negotiables that you can do in the day so these are things that you must do every day before going to sleep and if you don't do them you don't sleep so mine are 30 minutes of meditation workout 30 minutes of breathing exercises 30 minutes of stretching read 15% of a book and recently i've just added this to my list i have to create at least one youtube video per day so make a list of non negotiables right now that you have to do each day and you're not allowed to sleep before doing them even if it's late at night even if it's past your bedtime even if you messed up did some bad habits in the day you cannot sleep without doing the non negotiables so doing all of this whatever i just told you right now will make winning super easy for you and this is what i'm calling as the serendipity principle and it's a term that i just came up with and i'll explain to you what it is in a second the meaning of serendipity is in simple words a happy accident and the serendipity principle means that your work will be so streamlined so systematic that winning is almost an accident to you once you live in a disciplined way winning is almost accident like you don't care about it you don't give much thought to when you win so a quick example for this so let's say i hit 100k followers on instagram if i've been living properly if i know how to treat winning i'll see my phone i'll see the i'll refresh 100k i'll be like damn 100k hmm nice and i'll go back to work i've acknowledged it i don't give a damn about it i'm i'll continue doing what got me to that 100k followers instead there's a there's a whole another class of people they be like 100k oh my god 100k uh story pe dalo oh my god we reached 100k thank you guys so much guys we love you guys and they'll like the whole day they'll be replying to the dms they'll be like uh, the people will be responding to their stories they're like oh my god congratulations ha ah, grind bro the grind paid off uh, bro, bro. yeah thanks man thanks man it was really tough man oh my god man it was really tough maybe they'll have a party the 100k party some they'll bring in some cakes they'll call some guests they'll call friends you got comfortable boy you got comfortable doing that you got comfortable doing that so keep in mind this serendipity principle so tom up come up with i'll throw that in your face too so i hope you learned something from this video i wish you the best keep winning keep winning consistently that's all take care